morning. We like to welcome you to the First Baptist Church of Washington Hill. Praise God. Amen. Good morning, friend. First off, we're going to give glory and honor to God the Father. Amen. God the Son. Yes, and God the Holy Spirit. Then we want to recognize all mothers. Amen. On this mother's day. Amen.
We ask it all in them. Now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 Our only song is, if I can hear my mother pray on me. Amen. I love Service, 9 30 Sunday school, 10 30 morning.
YouTube. All right, man. You don't know how much you miss your mother. All right, now come on, you miss your mother. Yeah. It's gone. It's yeah. up. Drunk. All right. Verse 20. Wherefore. 
Therefore it came to pass, when the time was come, about after Hannah had conceived, that she buried a son and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 I, I'm going to use a simple subject this morning. We're going to talk about the blessings of a praying mother. That's a good All right. one. All right. All right. That's a good one. The blessings of a praying mother. All right. I don't know about you, but I had a praying mother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. She would pray when the father didn't come home uh -huh. like he was supposed to. Yeah. And I would hear her walking through the house and she was saying words. I don't know if she's speaking in tongues, but she was praying that her old man was all right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Me being her favorite child. Well, always around the mother. All right. Uh -huh. And I would hear mother not complain about what was going on, but I would hear mother thank God that there was food on the table. Uh -huh. Mother would also thank God that she had ice mm -hmm. in the ice box. Yeah. All right. All right. Simple prayers yes, for Thanksgiving. Yes, yeah. For the things that we have today that we take totally advantage of. She thought God, she thanked God for even waking up. Amen. And looking around in her room and all her children was there and safe and sound. Uh -huh. Amen. I would hear a mother pray all the time. Yes, sir. Amen. Mothers, I believe you should always pray. Mm -hmm. Let your children hear you pray. Uh -huh. Amen. So they can develop, amen, a praying attitude when they grow up. Yes. Amen? Amen. The blessings of a praying mother is one of the one that comes from a caring heart. Amen. She prays that our family will be alright. She prays that when her children go off to school that they will return back home safely. And the blessing is that her prayers that she prayed over us. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Remind us of the love that our mother had mm -hmm. for her children. Yes, yes, yes. Some prayers that our mothers have prayed over may not have come to fruition. Mm -hmm. But if we live long enough, those things that mother have prayed for come on, come on, that will come to pass. Yes. Yes. Some mothers have went on to face a world unknown. Yes, yes, have not had the opportunity to see her children. Mm -hmm. Prosper or have success All right. in this world. Mm -hmm. yes, but no doubt they have prayed that their children will be successful members of society. Mm -hmm. And they pass on before they had the opportunity yes, to yes, yes. see Amen. those things come to pass. Amen. Some of us praying were praying that my child will get out of school. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because of the difficulties that she was having with their children going to school. Right. Some would skip class and, and some would not even go to school and she would pray that our children would at least get out of school. Right. Right. So the mother would always pray. Amen? Amen. The, the Spirit of God helped me to sort out how this morning because she was not a mighty warrior. Right. Know what she's known for her historical acts from mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Hannah was a mother, amen, like many mothers today. She knew the power of prayer. Yeah. Yeah. You see, prayer is not our weakest link. Uh -huh. Prayer is our strongest link. Yeah. Our strongest access that we have to God. Amen. Because when we pray, we are communicating to God. Amen. Concerning the deepest emotions and our deepest concerns that we 
You see, but now we promote her. We will make her feel as if she was less than a woman. Yeah. Because she had been blessed with no children. Amen. And two, you see, this potential mother was praying against all odds. Because once, one, number one, God had shut up a move. And number two, it was considered a great reproach for a Jewish woman to be married. Right, huh? But the answer to her prayers, my brother and sister, it was just a sacrifice away. Can I tell you the answer to your prayers? It's just a momentary thing away. Thank you, Lord. Because every year, watch this, every year, it was customary for this family to go down the shop. All right. Where the ark of God was located, and there they would make a sacrifice unto the Lord. The Bible tells us in Luke 18 and 1 that men, women, boys, and girls should always pray and don't lose heart. Which means that we, we must pray about every situation and never give up on the Lord. Because he's always, because he always hears us right. when we pray. Uh -huh. Amen. And I believe kind of knew that the Lord would hear her when she prayed. Amen. Watch this. It was Ephraim's responsibility to make ready the sacrifice and offering unto the Lord. Yeah. And so he would take fortune and give to his two wives. However, the Hannah, he would give her the worthy portion because he knew she was sad because she wanted to bear children. All right, all right. Yeah, you yeah. see, her husband seen her tears and felt the pain that was in her heart. And he tried to comfort Hannah, bring her up, but all he could offer her was himself. Mm. And Hannah's situation, only God could mend. A broken heart. Yes, right, yeah, right. Yeah. I know I'm talking yeah, to somebody yeah, yeah. tonight yeah. that got a broken heart. Only God can mend a broken heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Bible tells me if your heart condemns you, amen, the Bible says God is greater than your heart. All right. Some brothers and sisters have been in a relationship that's going nowhere. Mm. And they stick in and stay in relationship because they don't want to be alone. Why go through all the hustle and the heartache of sticking with somebody who don't care about you? I know. Come on, now. Amen. Come on, now. Come on, now. Come on now. Amen. Just let go and let God, amen, comfort your heart. He's greater yeah. than all of the things that you're going through. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Hannah had to relieve, relieve the nightmare every year. Can you imagine every year, every year she will make her way down to the temple, down the shadow of all of that sacrifice, and every year she will pray the same prayer. All right, all right. Somehow the pain that was in her heart could not be suppressed anymore. Hannah could not pull back the tears anymore. And the Bible says in verse 7 that Hannah would not eat. Because she was down in shadow, right next door to the temple of God. Right. But the tabernacle of God was being placed. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the place where God told them to come and meet him and pray in the house of prayer. Yes. Yeah. And so Hannah rose up in verse 9 after eating and went down to the temple to pray. Uh -huh. right. Can I just give you this one little tidbit? Washington Hill Baptist Church is not just a church, but it's called a house mm -hmm. of prayer. Yeah. And that is where the saints of God come together, touching and agreeing together. Right. Amen. And, come, and, and making their petition to God that God will hear us when we pray. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's going on with our brothers and sisters who sit in the side of us. That's why we should pray for our brothers and sisters who are here right now. Amen. Amen. Because they're smiling on the outside. Right. They could be jacked up on the yes. 
should pray for those right, who all who live in all around yes, sir. us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in verse 10 that this potential mother was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and she wept sore. Mm -hmm. She mingled her tears with prayer. Mm -hmm. In other words, her prayer came from her heart. Have you ever prayed like that? Well, Have you ever prayed that you just run down amen. your amen. eyes? Yes, Have you ever prayed, yes, amen, where your heart was so heavy, yes. amen, you were down on your knees because of the pain of the world and pressing you down, you couldn't stand up, you just had to kneel down on your knees? Yes, sir. My Lord, my Lord. The pain was so heavy for him. And her, her heart was so heavy because she could not bear her child. All right. So Hannah looked up to the Lord as she bowed about in verse 11 and said, oh Lord, folks, if thou indeed look on my affliction All right. of thy handmaid and remember me, I will give him unto the Lord. Yeah. And she said to the Lord, she said, Lord, no razor mm -hmm. will come upon his head. Yeah. I, I don't know if she's going to pray a prayer like that today. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because most of our children, amen, they like the, the nappy look. Yeah. Amen. 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 And they love the 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 the, the, the high the cut all of the stuff around the head. You may have the hair on the top. Right. Come on. Amen. Come on now. But to, but to have no raise on the head, meaning he will become a Nazareth. Mm -hmm. Meaning that he will serve the Lord. And then his strength, amen, he will show how how how, how, how much he served the Lord by the amount of hair that he had on his head. Uh -huh. Samson was a Nazareth. Yes, sir. And when 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 she finally had Samson, he said, "No razor or wine should touch his lips." Yeah. And because no razor or wine touched his lips, Amen. His anointing was in his hand. Uh huh. Amen. Son. Amen. And the moment that his hair was cut, the anointing was gone. Yeah. Are you glad that the anointing doesn't lie in your hair, but the anointing lies in the person of the Holy Spirit? Yeah. Living
He said, I knew what I was doing when my feet led me to the church. Come on, now. I knew what I was doing when I sat down in the pew. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing now mm -hmm. because I'm sitting in the chair. Yeah. <laughs> His desire was that he would come out with alcohol and be saved. All right. But between the deacons, amen, and myself and Pastor David, we were trying to get to the nick and credit of why this man would come in the shape that he was in. All right. We don't know why right. people are coming to the Lord. <laughs> Praise it. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Come on, now. Come on, now. Everybody don't come to the Lord with the church <laughs> And went back to her house and wrote home. And Elkanah 
her. And the Lord remembered her and she conceived in verse 20. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't tell me prayer cannot change. Right. Don't tell me prayer cannot reach the gates of heaven. Mm -hmm. How many of you here today have went down on your knees in prayer right. and when you got up off your knees you were filled with the consolation that everything is going to be the whole amen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a good amen? Amen.
and she would sing a song. I just called her to say, I love you. Uh -huh. yes. And I thought that was beautiful. Yes, sir. I don't have nothing special, but I just called her to say, I love you. All right. Just calling your mother and telling you love her. Yeah. Yes, 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 right. yes, yes, yes. 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 Because maybe they went to the whole world. Right. No one person said it. Right. Amen. 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 We just stand to you. If you have not accepted Christ, right. we invite you to come. Again, remember this is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is not promised to you. And you only got today. Take advantage of the day. Do what you can. Thank you. 